Hey everybody, so there was recently an interview between Bill Maher and Elon Musk, two of the best guys who are sort of doing the game right now, uh, where they talked a lot about the woke mind virus. I mean, you have talked about this yeah. woke mind virus. Yes. In, in really apocalyptic terms. Yeah. I don't, you should explain why you don't think it's hyperbole. I don't have like a big point to make about this interview. It's just a mess. And as a scholar of wokeness, I wanted to walk you through it. So when Bill Maher asks Musk, why should we be so worried about wokeness? He gives a pretty straightforward answer. I think we need to be very cautious about any, anything that is anti-meritocratic um, and anything that is uh, that, that results in the suppression of, of free speech. Um, so, you know, those are two of the aspects of the woke mind virus that I think are very dangerous. The two main problems with wokeness are one, that wokeness is anti-meritocratic, and two, that wokeness and cancel culture is opposed to free speech. Already, there is a big problem here, the problem that everybody has with these kinds of definitions, and it's that both of these things are extremely pervasive in culture at large, and not particularly tied to wokeness. For example, if meritocracy is so important, it's not clear why we should be zooming in on wokeness and not just like the way that power and resources are distributed. It is on its face anti-meritocratic to have a system where poor people are given so many less opportunities than rich people are. And yet, Musk doesn't refer to this system as an existential threat. He doesn't call it a mind virus. We can make the same point about free speech, right? It is, once again, obviously against free speech to ban trans women and drag queens from public life, to ban books from libraries and schools. Also, cancel culture is very obviously not exclusive to the left. For example, there was recently a massive conservative campaign to boycott Anheuser-Busch because they advertised with a trans woman. Yet, once again, there is no mention of the conservative mind virus, no claim that conservatives pose an imminent threat to society or whatever. These criticisms I just made are maybe boring at this point. You've probably heard them both a million times, and I'm very much repeating myself when I say that wokeness, defined by right-leaning people, is just progressive stuff that they don't like. There is no deep, underlying principle here, just a lot of people pretending there is one. But this conversation gets, like, way weirder. After Musk airs his concerns, Mar asks him, what do you think is causing this? What do you think is causing all the woke? Musk says that it's university culture, and then says this really strange anecdote to demonstrate. Let me give you, let me give you an example that, that, that a friend of mine told me, which, uh, you know, his uh, daughters uh, go to college in, in oh, sorry, go to high school in, in the Bay Area. Um, and, um, and he, he was asking them, like, well, so who are the, you know, who are the first few presidents of the United States? Uh, the, the, they could name Washington, uh, but, and I said, well, what do you know about him? Well, he was a slave owner. What else? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> right. I'm like, uh, okay, that's, maybe you should know more than that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That, and that, that is the woke mind virus, exactly. Yeah. I'm a big fan of this anecdote because it's just like a full sludge moment, you know? For one thing, it is just obviously made up, you know? Like his conservative friend told a story about their shitty child and we're just supposed to be like, wow, that's horrible, I'm so sorry to hear that. Your son didn't know a fact about George Washington besides that he owned slaves? I believe you and I'm, I'm here to talk whenever you need me. But more importantly, why exactly is Musk even saying this? I thought the main points of concern here were meritocracy and free speech. Now we also have to be super worried about how fondly we remember slave-holding founding fathers? We have to talk about how everyone owns slaves and it wasn't just white people? Slavery is obviously a, a, a horrific institution, but, but we should still know more about George Washington than and, that. And by the way, one that was practiced all over the world yes, yes. forever <laughs> since the beginning of time by every race, yes. including people of color. I'm sorry yes. to tell you that. Why? Why is that happening? I should emphasize here that the fact that Americans own slaves, that our founding fathers own slaves, is a point that probably should be worrying to anyone who cares a lot about meritocracy. But here, it's just grist for the mill, right? My horrible friend told me a fake story about their child who definitely hates them, and I think that's what's causing the single most important threat to society. There's one last thing I need to talk about. It's this moment right toward the start of the interview, and I'll just play it now. So you are one of these dealers, these people who deal the cards. And I deal some memes too. 
<laughs> yes, we do. Some, uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> so... It's a shocking moment, honestly, just watching Elon Musk make perhaps the worst joke ever made, that he deals memes and then laugh about it like a fucking maniac. Look at Bill Maher in this scene. Hear how uncomfortable he is, his little forced laugh. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't like the guy, but I have to admit, I do empathize with him in this moment. Anyway, um, uh, uh, bye.